Okay, I did everything that I said I was going to do. On top of that, I have also leveled up the Javelin, which was the orb we just picked up. It is now the Light Trident, so now we can toss it at our enemies, uh, just like the Water Thugs do. Now we can continue to go through the cave. Well, we haven't made it to the cave, but they said we need to go through the cave, so let's go through there. And hopefully things will work out very nicely for us. Oh, uh, yeah. We can... Magic, man, it it slows everything down in this game. I am I'm starting to get annoyed by this system, to be honest with you. Boomerang has leveled up. I actually don't have anything else for Shion to level up just yet. She needs to work on the uh, the Moogle Claws, uh, but they are already being used, if you haven't noticed. So we are going to keep working as is. There we go. And the Moogle Claws will uh, turn people unconscious. There we go. It's definitely that. It looks like that is, yeah, Jake's weapon level up. How did... How am I missing here? Seriously. So, uh, we can now move Jake uh, back to the sword. Why not the sword? And Shion needs to be on the claws, which are over here. So I went the wrong way around, but that's okay. Let's just move on. Uh, the sword, I'm I'm growing more and more of a fan of as we go through, simply because of the slash. I don't believe that anything else has necessarily increased range or anything. Really, sleep. We're going to go for sleep now. Damn it, you bit my unconscious Shion. That's my job. And let's head up here. Now, I have... Uh, realized my error from before. Uh, we have not actually encountered kimono birds yet. Uh, the, uh, the things that were flying around before, they are... Whoa, 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 whoa. They are not actually enemies that you can fight. Um, I, I probably would explain why I've never been able to hit them, but still. It's kind of annoying that they would put them there and have you not be able to attack them, even though they clearly look like uh, something that you should be able to attack. They have the color palette of something that you should be able to attack. And we have finally made it into the cave. I think I went over the Kimono Birds before, but just in case. Just in case I didn't do it. Sometimes I forget what I have said. So we can take on the Pebblers some more. The freaking... There we go. Um, the freaking... Oh, we got more Kimono Birds. These freaking guys. These, these were definitely the things that I was thinking of before that I wanted to take out, uh, but... Well, no, that's not what I mean. I, I mean, the name Kimono Birds were the things that I was trying for, but I think you guys fully understand what I was talking about. Now, Whip has leveled up to level 3, so now we can move Yancey over once I finish this guy off, and Jake levels up because of it. And now we can switch Yancey. We're going to go with the Light Trident for now. Uh, we can switch over to the boomerang in a little bit. But what's most important is that we keep the kimono bird on the ground. Uh, you can damage this guy when he's on the ground. Sometimes. What the hell? Keep hitting him! God, this... The battle system, man. It gets to me. It gets to me. And Shion has leveled up as well. Unfortunately, we don't get the MP back, but we at least get the HP back, and we got a whack job on the Nemesis out. So now we need to switch over to the whip. I need to do this twice for whatever reason. Let's get back over here. Yes, back onto the Herald Sword. There we go. Just hit something. What, am I stuck or something? You have a sword in your hand. Use it. How the hell did Yancey get down there? Yancey? Okay. Uh, I think in order to get Yancey back, what I need to do is use the whip again. There we go. Got Yancey back, so now you can, you know, you can go back onto the Herald Sword. <sighs> Why... Why it works that way, I don't know, but that's how you fix it if one of your characters gets stuck off in some place where they shouldn't be. Uh, you can use the whip 
Uh, should there be a whip thing nearby? If not, you could be screwed. Get, yes, hit the kimono bird back to the whip. We just finished using the whip, too. Otherwise, I could just switch to Yancey, but instead I have to go through the menu, which can get quite annoying at times, but that's okay. We can continue heading up here and fight just the one water thug. I don't think I can. Oh, I can have him. He's in that state when he's making that face. Not the regular dirt face. And we got another kimono bird. This guy needs to be on the ground. Ground the kimono bird at all times. He cannot stay up. That is, that is not allowed. He becomes a spawner. How? How did I miss him there? Like, I'm pointing right at him. I poke him in the right direction, and just, nope, you missed. I think I have to hit the kimono birds from the side with the sword. Uh, that, that's just the, my problem there. And I can't, of course, hit the, the pebbler when it's unconscious. And let's see. Can we go down here? What's down here? Nothing! Hooray! I went to nothing. And that respawns the kimono bird. Of course it does. We might as well get at least a little bit of level ups here. I, I, how did I miss him? It, like the sword goes like right through his kimono apparently, but does not hit blood. Does not draw blood. Therefore, it does not count. Birds have blood, right? Yeah, yeah, they have blood. Of course. Like, was it like fish and up all have blood? What am I talking about? I'm a butcher. At least I was. Not professionally. Amateur Butcher for the win! Don't ask what I was killing. Let's just take out the Peblas. Die. Hit the Peb... So yes, uh, birds definitely have blood. That I could tell you. But, and I didn't draw it, I just went right through the kimono. I ramble when the game's not giving me much to talk about other than annoying things. And I don't like bitching too damn much in one episode. I like to spread out my bitching. So let's just continue on up here. Let's see what we can do by heading left. I choose you, left. And we can go for the ne Nemesis Owls and weapon skill up on the gloves. I think we actually still need that up to level three. No, oh, get back here. What, what do we got in here? Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give you guys take care of that. Uh, I don't know if I got anything. Medical herb. I was actually short on that. Okay. That's fine. I'll, I'll take more. Now we can head down here. And we're back close to where we were before. I've been silenced because things love to target me with silence. Hit the owl. Hit this guy right here. Now, seriously, more silence. It's just annoying. More than anything else, it's not like it's actually doing any sort of damage, it's just stalling me, and then making it so that I, I am a little confused about when I need to switch back to the regular control scheme. Uh, but luckily getting into a fight kind of negates that, because I will be in the fight longer than I will be in, uh, in the stage in the status effect. Uh, this will be a perfect opportunity for us to use our new magic! We do have Analyzer. Let's analyze the Crystal Orb, since there's no marker that will let you know what it is weak to. Uh, Gnome's magic will work. That's not entirely accurate. What you need to do is use Earth Slide. If you use Gem Missile, it doesn't do crap. So you need to use Earth Slide. Have I made myself clear on that? Go Earth Slide, it is level two. Um, by the way, back where the, the Mushroom Kingdom was, that would be a great spot to level grind if you were not uh, near the levels where I am right now. I have not done any level grinding there. Uh, I did consider it, but I decided against it. Um, mostly due to con time constraints at this point. Uh, let's head back, now that my control scheme is back the way that I should be, uh, and head through here, which is the only way that I can go. And the music, did it change? Or did it just restart? It did something there. Yeah, it just restarted, I think. Damn, Damn it, what's with all the silence? 
Why? Why do you silence me? I wish to speak, even though that's not what this game's silence is like. No, grab the treasure chest. Pound it on the peddler's face. D you missed. And we're now full on medical herbs. I thought I was before, but now we definitely are. Now if I remember right, there should be a spot coming up soon. And now we can take you on. Yeah, get whacked. Now there should be a spot. Ah, I'm starting to get a little lost. Uh, there should be a spot very close to here. Damn it! You kidding me? Uh. Is it here? Okay, my control scheme's back. It is here! Okay, yeah, I missed it. You need to go down here. Uh, this will clear the, the path for you. You don't need to bust out the axe to get rid of these. Why can't I only hit him from the side? That doesn't make sense to me in the slightest. I don't understand. And he just freaking launched the pebbler. This is why I hate... Sp he launched another one! He's like at 10% health. I was, I was like one shot away from killing him. If I could do damage to him. And instead of actually... Ugh. Yeah, look at that, like two shots away from killing him. And instead of that, now I have two pebblers to take care of. I'll take care of this one by myself. You guys take care of the other one. As long as it doesn't go into its little hedgehog, I wish I was Sonic phase, where it curls up into a ball and spins in circles. That's not how it works. Did you just throw the pebbler? You did! How the hell are you doing that, Shion? I can do that. Damn it, stop making it unconscious. Get up! Hit it. Damn it. Okay, well, at least it died. And a level up for Yancy's. Uh, oh, weapon. Very nice. Let's see. We need to move over to the boomerang. And back on Jake, and we can head down here, take on more Komodo birds.